Today, we'll be rating all of the archetypes. We're going to be rating this based on the... I forgot what it's called. All Yu-Gi-Oh! archetypes ranked based on Smogon's tier system tier list. So, here's how this works. We have... Oh, you can't see my mouse. So, we have Uber tier, which is basically decks that can only compete with each other. Like, this is where we're going to put the current meta decks. The strongest decks ever. Or archetypes. This isn't decks, this is archetypes. We're specifically looking at archetypes that are very powerful, not decks. Because there is a difference. Because a lot of archetypes are not like pure decks, they're like combined with other ones. For example, you want to take Virtual World as an example, they're usually combined with Adventure. Or if you take Tier Limits, they're usually combined with the Shizu. Or if you take Sprite, they're usually combined with Frogs. You know, a lot of decks are a combination of archetypes. We're looking at the pure archetypes. How well do they do? Is it just based on power level or cool factor? It is power level. Good lord, how long is the YouTube video going to be? Um, not that long, as long as we don't go too fast. Uber is just for, like, the overpowered decks. Overused is basically good decks. Underused is basically, like, rogue decks. Rarely used is, like, garbage. Never used is the actual trash. First up, we have Abyss Actors. Abyss Actors are actually pretty good. Um, we're gonna put it in underused. I don't think they've ever... They might have topped. Have they topped? Let me look this up. They have topped an event. Oh... <gasps> I think they topped a few, yeah, they've topped twice, once in 2016 and again in May of 2023, which is very recently. The National Championship of Ireland. Yeah, Abyss Actor is legitimately good. We're gonna put it in underused. I think that's a good one. Abyss Actor is also like top tier over in Duel Links. So, actually slept on, read their cards and you'll be blown away. I know they're good, <laughs> I know how they work. Why isn't ABC first? Cause I don't think the list I have is counted as an archetype. Next up, we have Sharks. How do sharks work as an archetype? Bahamut shark, buzzsaw shark, cat shark, crystal shark, basically all of the sharks. This is basically crag in control, right? Hmm. They're pretty good, but I don't think they've ever really topped events. I think we can put them next to underused. Crag and turbo? Yeah, they're pretty good. They're, I think they're good enough where they're not in rarely used. Next up, we have Ed Emancipators. I think we can put this one safely. Hmm. I think overused is good for Ed Emancipators. What do you guys think? I'm thinking, like, they're very good, but we don't know if they're that good, you know? Are they uber good? Yeah, that's the thing. I'm this. I think it's, like, it's probably an uber deck. Actually, I'm just gonna put them in uber. Okay, next up we have Alistair the Invoker. Hmm, overused. I was thinking, like, this is such a good engine. Should it be uber? No. <laughs> next up, we have the Aliens. Dude, aliens kind of slap, but I don't think they slap as hard as Abyss Actors. I'm going to put these in rarely used. They're a little bit too good for never used because aliens have this lock with, um, here, I can just go to it and show you. So they have this lock where you can use Planet Pollutant Virus, which gives everyone an A counter for three turns. And there's also a Link 3, which prevents monsters from activating effects, I think. Cosmic Fortress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it basically just like, it's a it's a floodgate. If you get the combo off, you can stop your opponent from playing for three turns, which is pretty good. Or if you just get out Alien Kid, you basically stop your opponent from playing the game. Yeah, it's a nice little floodgate turbo thing. It is, and it's not even that hard to get out, really, because aliens do have some swarm. Just not a lot. Isn't Alien Kid super pricey because it doesn't have a reprint? <laughs> I think so. Only $8? I don't know if that's super pricey. Next up, we have Ally of Justice. <gasps> so, Ally of Justice has a whole bunch of really terrible main deck monsters. But, they do have Ally of Justice Cataster, which is a decent level 5 synchro monster. <laughs> We're gonna put this in never used. They're pretty bad. Look, now we have a, a, a card in every single category already. Dang, this never happened so quickly. Next up, we have Altergeist. I think Altergeist could probably go... How many events has this top? How do you spell Altergeist? That's a lot of tops. I think it has enough tops to go in overused. Yeah, the new support looks pretty good. I mean, look at all these tops. There hasn't been one recently, but that is a lot. Okay, next up we have Despia. Where does Despia go? These tier names don't make sense. It's based on Pokemon. Uber or overused? Uber? 
Okay, I think Uber's fine. I wonder if it's better than Ad Emancipators, though. I don't know, they're both really good. Next up, we have Amazement. So Amazement is like a very small engine that only really works in trap decks. Even trap decks don't really use it. I'm gonna say it's like underused. It's pretty de decent. Rarely used? Rarely used also probably works for it. I don't know if it's as good as the underused cards. Rarely used? Okay, we'll go with this one. Next up, we have Amazons. <laughs> Did you guys know Amazon is Baby Tiger? was actually restricted in dual links because Amazons were such a top tier threat. Um, I, don't, I don't think they ever really competed in normal Yu-Gi-Oh though. Let me check. Amazon. Amazon is deck type. Holy crap, they managed a top in 2017? A first place top? Bull, bull crap. Ain't no way someone took first place with an Amazon deck. This is a meme. This is fake. This didn't happen. We're gonna put Amazons in rarely used. <laughs> no, sometimes the site is wrong. You have to like be very suspicious of some of the, the, the things on here. It's not 100% accurate. Okie dokie, next up we have Amorphage Goliath. So how do Amorphages, um, I don't think they've ever really taken a top before. Let me check. Amorph, which one is this one? Goliath? Let's see if Goliath saw any play. Oh, Dragon Link, huh? Guard Dragon, Blue Eyes. Goliath is the only Amorphage I've ever seen. What about the other cards? Do they have Amorphage as a deck type? They don't have Amorphage as a deck type, which probably means they're not played. <laughs> We're gonna put them in rarely used, specifically because only their boss monster gets played and nothing else does. Never used? I don't know if it counts for never used. I think it's a rarely used thing because one of their cards is used quite a bit. But then again, so was Ally of Justice Cataster. Sloth still sees play. Yeah, we'll go and rarely use with that one. Next up, we have Ancient Warriors. Does anyone know how Ancient Warriors, like, actually function? Ancient Warriors, Long Yuan. Whoa. There's a topping Ancient Warriors deck. They topped? <laughs> they topped. They took fifth place in 2022. Um, okay. So I think this counts for rarely used. Next up, we have Appliancers. Appliancer Settle Applaud. This is the main backbone of the deck. No play. Never used. Trash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next up we have Arcana Force. Trash. Uh, we have the face cards. Have the face cards ever seen any play? How do you type in the face cards? You can't just type in face, can you? Extra deck monarchs. I know this card specifically has seen play. Queen's Knight. Oh. Okay, yeah, the face cards haven't seen any play. Jax Knight has seen play specifically because of its type and attribute, which is hilarious. What they would do in Monarch decks is use this card when they got locked under Gozen Match or Rivalry because it was a light warrior, which shared the same attributes as like their vassals. So they could use it in order to like tribute set it to get off the field, and then they could tribute it with one of their monarchs later. So it was more like it just had the perfect type and attribute to see play in Monarch decks. So the face cards, I think we can put them in never used, which is so sad because their cards are really strong. They just require so many bricks. No, I wouldn't say they're, no, they are very strong and they're also very recursive too. Like you just go into their place every turn because they just infinitely recycle themselves. Anyways, Arc Fiends, do Arc Fiends see any play? I think Arc Fiends as an archetype, I have no idea how they function. Like who even plays pure Arc Fiends? Is there Arc Fiend as a deck type? Emperor, the first Lord of Terror. Holy crap. Has the Arc Fiend archetype never seen play? <laughs> I had no idea Arc Fiend Emperor, the first Lord of Horror had never seen play. This is like the boss monster of the deck. I was never expecting, I didn't think Arc Fiends would be a never used considering how many Arc Fiends there are. Dang, that was surprising. I never saw play just because Armageddon sent, but that's it. Yeah, like some of the cards have seen play. It's just like the archetype itself hasn't. Okay, next up we have Aromages. Aromage Jasmine. Wow. No, no, no play. Never used. Next up we have Artifacts. Artifacts as an archetype did see play. Artifacts themselves have also seen play as like an engine. I think this is an overused thing specifically because of Scythe and Moral Touch and Sanctum. They have a lot of good cards in their deck. I think Overused is probably appropriate for Artifacts just because they have so many good cards in there. Like there's more than just one of them that's used a lot. They have like four cards, even though two of them are used way more than the other two. Do they have a boss monster? Yeah, they have an Xyz. 
it's it was pretty decent too it was in my list on top 10 rank 5 monsters anyways next up we have the atlanteans have atlanteans seen play recently um atlantean dragoons that's the good one 2020 and mermail um they've definitely fallen out of favor we'll put them in underused outside of mermails no well the thing is atlanteans are like an accessory archetype that was made to be played with other water archetypes okay and then we have battery man <gasps> battery man they have two tops battery man a nine volt this is their main searcher 2015 was the last time they saw play i know solar has seen play a lot in like thunder dragon decks but as their own archetype i think battery mans are probably in rarely used category next up we have battle wasps have battle wasps ever seen any play battle wasps sting the poison which is their best card <gasps> it saw play in a B-Trooper deck. Um, I think Battle Wops are never used. Next up, we have Battle in Boxer Glass Jaw. <laughs> you guys remember Battle in Boxers? <laughs> never used. They did see some play back in the day, but they don't see play anymore. They're kind of bad. Next up, we have B-Troopers. <gasps> B-Trooper, as a deck, has seen one successful place. So, I think that deserves underused. How are you disrespecting the boxers? Because they suck. Next up, we have the Black Luster Soldier archetype. Did you guys know that's technically an archetype? Super Soldier, this is the deck. <gasps> Super Soldier Necroz in 2016? 9th to 16th place? Definitely never used? Yeah. Next up, we have Black Wings. Modern Black Wings, I think, can probably go into the overused category. What do you guys think? Overused or underused? Because they're pretty decent. They do have a lot of tops, too. Underused? I mean, I can put them in underused. They got Eclipse Hards by Tears? Okay, we can put them here. What about Plunder Patrol? I don't know anything about Plunder. You think Plunder? I would put it here for now, underused, because they're pretty good. I did five list entry and took 10 hours. This will go super quick. We're 26 out of 312. Oh, you because they're history and formats like Edison? We're kind of going based on like modern support though. Only thing I care about is archetypes of cyber dragons and heroes. We're not there yet. Next up, we have the dragon rulers. Their whole archetype is still banned. We're gonna put them in Ubers. Next up, <gasps> Blaze Accelerators. Um, rarely used. <gasps> Bloom Diva. Oh my god. Bloom Diva was an absolute menace in Duel Links. This was such a top tier deck. <laughs> in normal Yu-Gi-Oh, no one plays it. Oh my god, the Butter Surprise! This is technically an archetype. Oh, we also have Blue Eyes on here. Let's put Blue Eyes and Never Used. And then we have Butter Surprise, also a Never Used. Okay, Blue Eyes won a YCS. What have they won recently? Blue Eyes as a deck type. Branded Blue Eyes, 2023. Blue Eyes. <sighs> Fine. I guess Blue Eyes has to go into rarely used. They're not at the bottom tier. Next up, we have Counter Fairies. Counter Fairies are definitely never used. Next up, we have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Rarely used, even with their modern support. Next up, we have Bujins. <laughs> when was the last time Bujin saw play? Bujin deck type. 2015. Uh, we'll put this in never used. Next up, we have Buster Bladers. I think Buster Bladers probably go into underused. Buster Bladers, as an archetype, are always like just one good piece of support away from being broken. Buster Blader, the destruction, the dragon destroying swordsman. 2019 was the last time they saw play. I think they probably like underused territory, but they are technically rarely used. Aren't they an engine? Yeah, pretty much. Engines are counted as their archetype though. Next up, we have the Bistials. This is an easy uber. Next. Oh my god, did you guys know Mystical Beast is an archetype, technically? <laughs> They're called the Mythical Beast. I'll show you some examples. There's this random card that no one plays. Uh, there's this card, which is the namesake. There's Kalantosa, which is played with Melfi's. There's this card, which is random like support for like five types. It's technically an archetype. Mystical Beast, Temple of the Kings. <gasps> Mystical Beast of the Forest! This one used to be used back in the day. An accessory archetype? Yeah, it's an accessory archetype. So we'll put it in never used. Next. 
totally misunderstand. I thought it was ranking them as if they were pure deck, but it's just how overly good their cards are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not doing like decks, we're doing like based on the archetype itself. So like if the archetype has a lot of good cards in the archetype, like the only reason artifacts made it this high up is because they have more than one good card that it's using a bunch of other cards, even if they're not played as a pure deck. Nephthys have actually like topped, I think. Let me look. How do you spell Nephthys? Nephthys. Cerulean Sacred Phoenix Nephthys. Okay. Never mind. Never used. Next up, we have, oh, the Chaos deck. Chaos is pretty good. We're going to put this in overused. Specifically, because Chaos Angel is used a lot. A lot of the Chaos cards are just used a lot. Like, Chaos cards are just very good. Wait, would Chaos be Uber? Because a lot of the Chaos cards are very good. Like, specifically, Chaos Angel, Chaos Dragon Levianir, Chaos the Magical Dragon. I think Uber is like, I think Chaos is probably Uber. One Synchro isn't worth, it's not just one Synchro though. They have two Synchros and also some main deck cards like Levianir, which is still played in Dragon Link. And of course, Cola Serpent and um, Wavern Burster and BLS, technically some BLS cards are Chaos too. Yeah, I think Chaos is probably Uber. They have so many very ridiculously good cards. Next up, <laughs> the Hungry Hamburger archetype. <laughs> How is this performed in the TCG? Chef Special Recipe, never used. The thing is, I think this is way better than a lot of these other never used cards. Yeah, I want to play the Master Duel too. Next up, Chem Critters. Never used. Next up, the new Illusions. The Chimeras. From what I've heard, they're very good. I'm going to put them in overused. I don't know how good they are. Definitely not overused. Are you sure? I'll take your guys' word for it. We'll put them in underused. They're cool and almost a good deck. Okay. Next up, we have Chronomalies. Ooh, Chronomalies. From what I remember, these actually topped some events over in the OCG. Chronomaly. No tops over here, but they did perform very well in the OCG, so they won't be never used. I'm going to put them in rarely used. I think that's fair. Cyphers. I don't know if Cyphers have ever seen play. Cypher Twin. I've only ever seen Cyphers played once, and that was against me, and I won. <laughs> deck type, random deck. First to third place. Cardmaker Series Paris 2020. This is probably a fake event. Yeah, this is a fake deck. Cyphers, never used. Next up, we have Magic Keys. How good are Magic Keys? I'm pretty sure they're not. Calcus the Magic Key Sky Blaster. No tops. They're all right. You think they go in rarely used? Hmm. Are they good? I'm pretty sure they're bad, right? Rarely used sounds good. Some of their cards have appeared in some of my top 10 lists. So like, I know they're not useless. Like, they shouldn't be never used category, you know? A bunch of other decks, sadly. Okay, that's good enough. Underused. You want to put them in underused? We're going to put them in rarely used. I don't know about underused. Next up, we have Cloudians. <gasps> so Cloudians are not very good. Cloudian Turbulence. Turbulence, Turbulence. Where's Turbulence at? If Turbulence saw play, then Cloudians have seen play. Nope. Um, I guess they're going to never used. Next up, we have Chrysalis. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Cloudians have a Quasar build? You can do stuff with Cloudians, but they're not good. Like, their archetype isn't, like, as bad as Ally of Justice, but they're still not very good. Anyways, Chrysalis are absolutely garbage. Never used. Isn't that something below in you? Is there something below never used? No. I might have to move some of these never used cards up to rarely used, so that we don't have absolute garbage next to things like Cocoon Party. Anyways, next up we have Constellars. Has Constellars seen play recently? Constellar as a deck type. Their last top was 2014. <laughs> Not recently, but they're all right. Hmm, they got new cards? Did they really? I think Constellars are probably never used here. Let's be honest. <gasps> Cubics. I think Cubics are probably in underused. They're very good. Anyone disagree with this? Never used? No, they're not going to go never used. I think maybe underused. They're very good. They're just not used very much, you know? Rarely used? Rarely used? Fine. Okay, next up, we have Resonators. Didn't they release new Resonator support? Uh, Crimson Resonator. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna put them in rarely used then. Next up, we have Magistus. I've never seen anyone play Magistus before. Magistus is an archetype where they like equip extra deck monsters to themselves. An easy never used? Yeah. Okay, next up we have Crusadias. I think Crusadias are probably just rarely used. They're alright. They can still OTK. Their boss monster is still good. Next up we have Crystal Beast. Oh now this one's a hard one. 
I'm thinking Crystal Beast is probably underused because Conclave Control is pretty good. You gotta be UU at least. Yeah, if anything, my debate with Crystal Beast is either underused or overused. Nothing lower than that. Hmm. Okay, this is good. Lots of people agree with it. <gasps> Tistinas. What do Tistinas do? <laughs> Tistinas are too new. I don't know anything about them. I have read their cards. I just don't know if they're good or not. They're too new. Ubers. Never used. We can't put them in never used. Incomplete deck. I'll just put them in rarely used for now. Anyways, next up we have Crystrons. Oh, this one's easy. They're garbage. Next up, Cyber Dragons. Cyber Dragons. Um. Cyber Dragons used to always be a very good rogue deck, but they haven't seen play recently because they haven't been able to survive the recent like power creep changes. Normally I'd probably put this in underused, but I think, yeah, this is probably a rarely used one. Next up, we have Cyber Darks. What about Cyber Darks? Cyber Darks received some recent support. Cyber Dark, this used to be an easy garbage deck, but now Cyber Dark took seventh place in 2022. That's pretty good. It's a lot higher than I expected. Yeah, I think this is probably just rarely used. Is top tier emo deck. Yep. Next up, we have the DD deck. <laughs> Why is this one here? Let's put this in never used. <gasps> the graceful Mayakashi. Mayakashis. Uh, no one plays Mayakashi, right? No one plays Mayakashi in the real game, but it does see some play in Master Duel. We'll put it in just rarely used. How do they even use this deck in Master Duel? Does a zombie pile count? No. Bone Tower FTK? Not really. They have a really good Floodgate card now, and it's not that hard to use. <gasps> Danger! Oh my god. If you'd asked me where Danger would rank a year ago, I'd say like this is an easy Uber, but they've fallen out of favor hard. Even then, I still think they're probably Uber. Let me look them up. Power Creep has just been crazy. Danger... Nessie's using most of the build, right? 2023, 2023, 2023, Danger, Dark World, Danger, Tier Limits, OU at best. They saw play with tears for a while. Danger is really good. I don't think they're uber tier anymore though. I think we can probably put them in overused. Overu is that worse? Yeah, they won't go below overused. That's for sure. They're too good for that. Okay, next up, we have Burning Abyss. <laughs> we'll put this in rarely used just for fun. Next up, we have Dark Magicians. We'll put this in rarely used just so we don't upset people. Here, we'll put it right next to the blue eyes. They can be next to each other. Okay, next up, we have the Dark Scorpions. This is an easy never use. They're garbage. Next up, Dark Lords. They were used for a bit with Branded, so we can put them in rarely used. Next up, we have DDDs. Um, Divisor King Machinex. Holy. How's this card in no decks? I thought it was at least played in some Labyrinth builds. Are rockets up yet? No, we haven't put rockets in Uber yet. <laughs> DDDs. <laughs> um, we'll just put this one in rarely used. I was gonna put it in underused, but I wasn't expecting their boss monster to have no hits, you know? Maybe we'll put them in underused just to be nice to DDDs. Okay, next up, we have the Deep Sea Diva Engine. They are their own deck. They used to see a lot of play with, um, Halky Fibrax. Ever since that card got banned, though, they saw playing Marine Cess? Seriously? They have two tops in 2023. Underused. Broken would play with Broken Friends? I don't know if I'd count Marine Cess as broken. Oh yeah, because they're level two. Nice DDD. I thought you hated them. When have I ever said I hated DDDs? Next up, we have Despots. Oh my god, these are garbage. Never used. <gasps> Destiny Heroes. So Destiny Heroes have... they're not played pure, they're always played with other hero cards. Um, I think Destiny Heroes are probably underused specifically because they have DPE. OU? You want me to put them in OU? Destiny Heroes suck though. Underused? Yeah, we're gonna put them in underused. You guys don't know nothing about nothing. Next up, we have Digital Bug Rhino Sebus. So Corbage saw some niche play. Rhino Sebus saw lots of play in Duel Links. Yeah, we're gonna put them in never use, even though they did see playing Duel Links. Oh my god, this list is huge. Next up, we have Dino Mist. Have Dino Mist ever seen actual play before? Oh, <gasps> they have seen play. I think they've seen enough play to avoid never used. Yeah, we can put them in rarely used. Good job, Dino Mist. You did it. Okay, next up, we have Dynamorphias. Two tops in 2023. Damn, that's pretty good. Is it overused good though? I think it's probably an underused deck. But yeah, that's pretty neat. Next up, the Dino Wrestlers. 
This one's hard. Because their main archetype has never seen any play at all, but Pankratops is one of the best cards in the game. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, have, <laughs> they have one card that's so good, it's easily one of the best cards ever made. And then the rest of the archetype just exists. Hmm, yeah, Pankratops has an archetype. Technically it does. Never used by a technicality. Uh, that's true. They are never used by a technicality. So overused? Pankratops is an uber, but the rest of the archetype is never used. And this is based on the archetype itself. One good card does not equal an archetype? Yeah, they literally only have one good card and that's it. Same with Halk? Yeah, yeah, we already put um, Christrons in Never Used. I guess we can move Christrons out of Never Used. Oh, the Ally of Justice Cataster situation. Yeah, I think Ally of Justice only has Cataster, right? What if they have two good cards? Then we'll put them in Rarely Used. It counts out Panka's always used, but the others are not put it in Rarely Used? I guess it does kind of cancel out a little bit. Pankratops is so ridiculously used that I guess it it just it just really can't be never used. Next up, we have Dogmatica. Dogmatica is a very good engine. Dogmatica is underused. I think Dogmatica is probably underused nowadays. Yeah, it's still really good. They're just not really used anymore. Overused? Let's look it up. It last saw play in 2023 in branded anti meta. 2023, 2023, 2023. We can probably put this in overused. That's not that bad. Ecclesia, Fallen of Albaz, Fossil Dyna, Patchy Stuff. Wait, what is this? Branded Anti-Meta? Oh, I want to see this deck. This seems cool. This is it literally just a stun deck? Oh my god. I want to play this deck. <laughs> Nadir Search is just a Punishment Searcher. 2023, 2023, 2023, 2023. We have one, two, three, four, five in the last year. So the last year is six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's enough. If they have at least eight tops in the last year, we'll put them in overused. Not Uber, no. Next up, we have the Doodle Beast. Does anyone play the Doodle Beast? Doodle Beast Tyranno. That's the good one. Nope. Never used, or maybe rarely used. They're not bad. Yeah, they only have three cards. <laughs> I mean, Doodle Beast is only like, what, three cards? So they bring more from the anime? Yeah, I guess. Next up, we have the Zombie World archetype, also known as Doom King Baylor Drotch Control. I think I manually added Baylor Drotch in here to represent Zombie World. Rarely used? I think that's appropriate for it. They cute though? So true, so real. Underused? I think it's a little bit too strong for rarely used. We'll put it in underused. Next up, we have <gasps> Sulfur Chords. Sulfur Chords suck. Never used. Are you kidding me? I didn't think they would be that bad. Okay, next up, we have Pendulum Magicians. Do Pendulum Magicians have eight tops in the past year? 2022, 2022? Nope. Underused. They do not get overused. I, I think they're a little bit too strong for rarely used. Next up, we have Dragon Maids. Oh, <gasps> have Dragon Maids ever topped in the TCG? They have, and they have two tops in the past year. Branded Bestial Dragon Maid, Drag Unity Dragon Maid. Okay, so they avoid never use at the very least. Um, I probably put them in underused because they topped recently. Okie dokie, next up we have Drag Unity. I, I literally just see Drag Unity right here as a deck that topped. Remus is their best card, right? Drag Unity Remus. Oh, that's it? <laughs> that's their only top? Yeah, this is rarely used. That's funny, they were used with Dragon Maids, but Dragon Maids just has slightly more use than the Drag Unities. Dream Mirrors. Oh my god, Dream Mirrors is an easy never used. This is one of the worst modern archetypes they've, you know, released. Okay, Dreamy Numerlia. Numerlia. How good are Numerlias? No tops. How good is it in the OCG chat? I thought we weren't considering OCG, but I need to know because they have more support in the OCG. Never used? It's never used? Really? I think Numerlias are too good for never used. I don't want to put this in never used because they're too good for that. I'm going to put them in rarely used. Okay, next up, we have Drytron. Have Drytron topped in the past year? One, two, three, four, five. They only have five tops in the past year, so they don't get overused. They're in underused. In Uber? No. We created an arbitrary rule where they need to have at least eight tops in the past year, and they only have five. Hmm, I think we can probably just lower it to five. Five sounds like a decent number. Eight's kind of arbitrary anyway. Next up, we have Dual Avatar Feet. <laughs> Never used. Earthbound Immortals. 
I'm pretty sure these are never used, but let me double check. One top and flew under Rees. How? Why were they playing Oslopisku? They're playing in the side deck. This has to be a meme. This is never used. <laughs> Flues use the Wing Beast one? Yeah, they can use the Wing Beast one, but I don't know why they're using Oslopisku. Anyways, next up we have Eldlich. Oh my god, Eldlich. Eldlich. I have to see this. Oh my god. It actually has two tops in the past year. Whoa, that's surprising. Let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five tops in the past year. That qualifies it for overused. And if I had done this list two months ago, then it would have even more tops in the past year. Wow. Who's playing Eldlidge? <laughs> Dead by Shizu and Bistio. Yeah, it's still the scene play though. That's I'm surprised by that. Okay, it deserves an overuse spot. Okay, next up we have heroes. I think heroes probably go into underused category. Rarely used? Heroes recently won an event. Well, they didn't win an event, they topped an event. July 2023, which was like a month ago. And then before that, they have October, so that's one, two, three. Three tops within the past year. I think underused is appropriate. People like heroes and they just like sometimes perform well. Next up, we have <gasps> Elemental Sabers. <laughs> Empowerments. These ones are the Empowered Warriors, never used. Okay, End of Meons, I gotta look this one up. They haven't seen play since 2022, since 2020. But man, look at all that play they had. Um, I think rarely used is appropriate for them. Next up, we have Geesh Keys. Ooh, is the new support out yet? 2014, I know Geesh Keys see play in the OCG. We're gonna put them in rarely used for now. Yeah, Gishki FDK. I love the Gishki FDK. Okay, Evil Eye of Selene. Evil Eyes have been seen playing Master Duel recently. Uh, and they've been performing decently. I think that's enough to get them out of never used category. Never used? Really? I think rarely used is probably fine for this. Okay, next up, we have Evil Heroes. Haven't Hero decks dropped Evil Heroes from their rotation? They have. <laughs> they've completely dropped Evil Heroes. <laughs> I remember when evil heroes were like the best part of the hero like playset. Now they don't even use it anymore. I think Bane is the only one played. How are they going into Bane? Here, let me take a look at their Omni Hero deck. Man, remember when they used to call it Omni Heroes? Now it's just heroes. No, they don't use Bane anymore. They can't use Bane without a Dusted Gold. Like the whole engine relied on a Dusted Gold to search out the fusion card and then use it as the material to go into Bane. Okay, so rarely used. That's so funny that the Destiny Heroes and Elemental Heroes are in underused, but Evil Heroes are in rarely used. Next up, we have Evil Swarms. Evil Swarm Thunderbird. You guys remember Thunderbird Control? My birdies place? Okay, this is a fake one. So 2015 was the last time they saw play. Uh, never used. Next, Evil Tiles. Never used. I love Evil Tiles though. I used to play so many Evil Tile decks. If you look at my channel and you go to like my earliest videos, you'll see a whole bunch of Evil Tile like replays. <gasps> the Exchange of the Spirit Archetype! Did you guys know there's a whole archetype built around this card? Ubers? What, for this old card that got eroded to be useless? And so the Ishizus? No, no, it's the Exchange of the Spirit Archetype. It's an archetype that relies on this card to do all of their plays. They're kind of decent. We're gonna put them in Uber tier. Explain. <laughs> it's the Ishizu cards. <laughs> They don't even play this card most of the time. But they are all tied together by Exchange of the Spirit. If only it wasn't Arotad. I know, right? Okay, next up, we have Exosisters. I don't even need to look this one up. This is an overused. Wait, actually, should this one be Uber? I think Exosisters is overused. I don't think they have enough tops for Uber. Uber? Nah, OU? I think OU is perfect for Exosisters. It won a YCS? It won a YCS because it's an anti-meta deck, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It qualifies for overused. The thing is, it is strong specifically because it counters the meta. <laughs> if like everybody was playing Nexus Sisters, then it wouldn't like be as good. So I think it's perfectly fine and overused. Next up, we have Roids, garbage. FAs, rarely used. Fairy Tales, we can put these in never used. They're only good card. Well, actually, they have two good cards. Fairy Tales have Luna and Snow, and Snow is banned. We'll put them in rarely used. Okay, the Albaz deck. Who even uses Albaz? This is counting every card that uses Albaz as a material. It's basically like 
up here in Ubers. Like, I don't even know why those are really separated. They're technically, you know, not every car that supports Albaz also supports Despians. They're basically the same thing, though. Okay, next up, we have Fire Kings. Rarely use until the new support comes out that they might be usable. I'm only putting them in rarely use because they have new support coming. Okay, Flower Guardians, never used, garbage. Uh, Fortune Fairies, literal garbage. Fortune Fairies, also garbage. They were decent in Duel Links, though. Fossils, oh my god, garbage. This, this deck is awful. Oh, Fright Furs, here we go. Um, Fright Furs are garbage. Let's look up how they perform, though. Fright Fur, Cruel Whale, there it is. They have one top in the past year. Not Garbo? Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to say Fluffles are a very underrated deck. They're very slept on. Fluffles are able to do things that no other decks can do, which is to scythe lock your opponent, and they can fusion summon during your opponent's first turn for interruptions through to the effect of Cruel Whale. It's a very good deck as long as you draw specifically into, what is it, Edge Imp Scythe? <laughs> we'll put it in rarely used. Oh, wait, do you guys think this is underused? Do you think this is the same tier as like Heroes? Shows up in Despia decks a lot? Oh yeah, they do have a card that shows up in Despia decks a lot. I forgot about that. Okay, I can go to sleep now. I'm content. Yeah, I'll put them in underused. I forgot they have, um, yeah, Edge Imp Chain and the card that searches out Polymerization. Okay, Edge Imp Chain, you definitely elevated the Fright Fur archetype a little bit. So when that pulls Poly, Fright Fur Patchwork? Yeah, 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 Fright Fur Patchwork, that's what it's called. Because Fright Fur Patchwork is really good. It's literally just like a plus one. It's like a pot of greed that can be searched out. Okie dokie. Now we'll go over to G Golems. <gasps> Zero play. I have seen him in some deck lists in the OCG, though. G Golems are not useless. They're not never used useless. We'll put them in rarely used. G Golem is dog towers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're fine. <gasps> Gagagas. Gagagas suck nowadays. Ooh, Guy the Magical Knight of Dragons. I want to see if this saw any play. Because this used to be a meta deck in Duel Links. Generally not a good sign of the decks I'll play in the TCG. Okay, this is never used. Gateway the Six. Last saw play in 2018. <laughs> never used. No, Gateway the Six is too powerful for never used. We'll put it in rarely used. Next up, we have Gear Gaia Armor. Never used. Gear Town. Never used. <gasps> Gem Knights. I think Gem Knights. They have the FTK banned, but they don't have it banned in Master Duel. Gem Knights are either rarely used or underused. We'll just put it in rarely use. It's fine. Gemini's never used. Gen X. Ooh, we should put Gen X right next to um, Ally of Justice's garbage. Never used. Ghost Tricks. <laughs> <laughs> the Leerless FTK Sub Terror Zodiac. You're gonna make the Ghost Trick community angry. Ghost Tricks as an archetype are bad. However. They have a very good engine that allows you to go into Utopic Draco Future, which is a very good negate boss monster. They're like one of the few ways to go into it with like a single card. And you can do that as long as you have a single card that brings out, you know, two level ones, two level twos, or two level threes, and you can go into it. The engine is pretty good if you can afford the extra deck space for it. And it only plays one main deck brick. Hmm, I think the engine's good enough and uses enough of their cards where we can put it in rarely used. Even if the actual deck itself is definitely a never used type thing. We have Goatee! <gasps> Goatee. So has Goatee ever seen a top? Oof, no tops. No tops. How did they perform in Master Duel meta? August. These are all very recent. Look at all of these decks. Top eight, top four. Um, so I think goatees are very slept on. I think they're probably underused because, and therefore, if you look over here at Master Duel, they have seen lots of play, specifically with Tier Laments and Punk, and also it looks like Synchrons and Bestials, and they perform well getting top four and a top eight, and also hitting Master One. That means they are just like slept on, even though they can totally win events. You just have to believe in Jesus. 75 is just the same guy. Is it really? Boss, boss. <laughs> it's just the same guy. Just put them in Uber and see if anybody even notices. 
No, we can't put them in Uber because that would ruin the integrity of the list. However, underused is probably fine because Godi is a modern archetype, which is all right, I guess, whatever. Okay, next up, we have gimmick puppets. There's one gimmick puppet card that sees a lot of play. We'll put them in rarely used because of that. Gladiator Beast, I think Gladiator Beast actually saw a little bit of play. Oh, I thought they saw some play with like the modern support. Man, Gladiator Beast used to be a top tier, like almost a tier zero deck. You guys don't know how good Gladiator Beast used to be. Never used. Okay, Gold Pride. Gold Pride's good, right? Uh, two tops in the past year. I hate Glad Beast from the past. I love Glad Beast from the past. We'll put this one in underused. It's a solid enough deck with Punk. Yeah, yeah, Gold Pride's pretty decent. Okay, next up, we have the Gorgonic deck. <laughs> Did Gorgonic Guardian ever see any play? I love Gorgonic Guardian. You guys know what this card does? It has a quick effect to negate the effects of a monster on the field and lower their attack to zero. Permanently. And also, once per turn, they can destroy a monster with zero attack on the field. It's such a good card. The only problem with this card is the fact that its materials is two level three rock monsters. If it was generic, this card would probably be banned because it's just like really good. It saw play in Brilliant Magnet Warriors. That sounds about right. Um, Gorgonics is never used, unfortunately. They're bad. Even though their boss monster is very, very good. Next up, we have Goki. Have Goki seen play recently? They lost saw play in 2021 in a 60 card warrior deck. Rarely used. Remember when Goki used to be super good? Underused maybe? Goki is goaded? Goki's garbage. They're rarely used now. Nobody plays it anymore. Goyos. The Goyos suck. Never used. Gravekeepers. Gravekeepers haven't seen play in ages. Never used. Gradles. 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 Let me look up Gradles. Gradle Impact. I don't think Gradles ever saw play. Gradle Kaiju. Gradle Kaiju. Yosenjus. Oh, they did see a little bit of play. Share if you play Gravekeepers. Oh wait, Gravekeepers did actually see a little bit of play. I remember that meme. Last saw play in 2020. Nah, I think rarely use is probably more appropriate for them. Also, they technically have Necro Valley. Yeah, I guess that's true. They do technically have Necro Valley. Whereas Goyles don't have anything that are used anymore. <gasps> the Gadgets. Has anyone played Gadgets recently? The Gadgets used to be like the Alistair, the Invoker of the old school Yu-Gi-Oh. If you had a normal summon to spare, you could play the Gadget Engine. Gadgets done in 2017. Never used. I gotta look up Nordics. I don't actually know if Nordics saw play or not. 24. What? They didn't have Link monsters in 2014. Topped once in 20. This doesn't make sense. This is literally fake. Never used. Okay, next up, we have Gukin Suship Shari. I think Sh Gukins are like underused. I don't wanna look them up. <laughs> they saw play once. Suship Tier Limits 2022. July, July, July. Wow, Goatee has more recent tops than Sue Ships. We'll put this in rarely used. The unbiased logs? What do you mean the unbiased logs? I'm so unbiased, it's not even funny. <gasps> Mikanos, are Mikanos good? What did he say? I'm pretty sure they haven't topped any events, but they did have to ban some of them from like one of the old formats because they're basically towers. The heck is a Mikano? They're like a... <laughs> They're like an equip ritual deck. They were like, hey, let's take two of the worst mechanics in the game and make a deck that combines them together. The kind of Libermancer is an actual deck. They are pretty good. Really? Um, 60 card adventure, Libermancer, Minkanka Warrior. Okay, well that's enough to put them in rarely used. In a tier format. That's surprising. Do you think they go into underused category? No, I think rarely used is fine. Next up, we have Harpies. Have Harpies seen play recently? I don't think they have. Last saw play in 2019, top 64. That's not even a very good top, but it is technically still a top. Um, okay, so this is rarely used or never used. What do you guys think? I'm thinking never used, because they're garbage. Their last top was a long time ago. Featherstorm alone is uber. Not even all like Fluwinder Rees decks play it anymore. Harpy's Feather Duster is technically a Harpy's card. I think it's probably a never used. Harpies have two broken cards. They do technically have two broken cards. Okay, fine, rarely used. It feels weird putting it next to like Mikanos though, because Harpies are garbage. Fine, whatever. Hazy Flames, this is an easy never used. Heraldic Beast, never used. Um, Heroic Champions, even with the new support, I still think they're in never used territory. <gasps> Ice Barriers, never used. Heratic Dragon of Tinuit, never used. The Charmers, ooh, Charmers are used a lot. We'll put them in, um, and overused. 
Because like the extract charmers are actually used quite a bit. Actually, they might even be ubers because they're used so much. What do you guys think? Are charmers ubers or overused? The arc is sees a Palma. ton of play. I think overuse is probably good. Even before the arc came out, Hita saw a lot of play too. Like I think literally every single one of the extra deck charmers has seen competitive play. Like how many decks can say every single one of their extra deck monsters has been used in other decks? Next up, we have Ice Jades. Never used. I don't even know how the pure Ice Jades play. Ice Jade is a tier in my heart. <laughs> Next up, Ignites. Have Ignites seen playing the TCG? I know they see playing FDK decks in Master Duel. 2016 was the last time they saw play. Never. Incantations. Incantations have been completely power crept by Drytrons. So underused probably? 2020, 2020. Probably not underused. We'll put it in rarely used. Okay, Infernities. Ooh, when was the last time Infernity saw play? I think Infernities are like one of the most successful decks of all time. 2018 was their last play. Wow. Um, I can't put this in never used. They were so good in the past. I have to put them at least in rarely used. Okay, Infernoble Knights. I think Infernoble Knights is probably an underused. Nah, let's put it in rarely used. They can't combo anymore without that one card. Launcher's been on the ban list. Let's look up Infernoble Knights. 2023? Really? With the new support? I mean, I'm fine putting it underused. I don't know what the new support does. I don't even know if it's good. Next up, we have Infernoids. Infernoids. <gasps> Rarely used. Easy. Okay, Infinitrax. Didn't they top an event recently? Infinitrax, also known as Earth Machines. 2023, 2023, 2023, 2023. Holy Palma. shit. Is this overused? Because they're in super heavy samurais. No Palma. way. Infinite tracks are overused? Right next to the charmers? Dang, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Is this all <laughs> These are all different people. I don't see any repeat names. Damn. I didn't think infinite tracks were that good. They're more successful than this archetype right here. I forgot the name, Axis Sisters. Next up, we have Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Oh, the Kaijus! Kaijus, I think, um, I don't care to look them up. They are still being used pretty heavily. They're overused. Next up, we have Insectors. Rarely used. Next up, we have Iron Chains. Oh, never used. Garbage. Next up, when was the last time Lightsworn saw play? Holy 2019. Okay, rarely used is probably good for Lightsworns. Glad Fluffle's pretty high. I'm glad I can try to help put on the map my recent top and stuff. <gasps> Were you the one who topped with them? Oh my god, that's hilarious. We have an actual proer in chat. We call them proers, pro gamers. Oh yeah, they also did really well in the MCS. I forgot about that. Does Ice Jade Synchro count for its usage? It does. Ice Jades have a very good Synchro. Grimir Erdurnine. There's also the Ice Jade Dragon, right? Or is it called something else? Ice Blade Dragon, that's Mirror Jade. Yeah, yeah, my, Mirror Jade. No, no, no. Ice Jades have a very good Synchro monster. Grimoyer is excellent. If you can go into it, you should be playing it as level 10 Synchro. Okie dokie. Next up, we have Junks. Uh, <sighs> junk. Is Junk here? Junk. Junk is a VTuber. It's Ice Jade. Junku. 2017 was the last time Junk saw play. There are other Junk decks, though. Dark Synchro. What's a better card to represent junk as an archetype? Imagine if someone did an entire series of something ranking every deck in the game. Couldn't be me. Monkey Fight TCG, are you ranking every deck in the game? Holy. Palma. Speeder? We can check out Junk Speeder. Junk Speed. I think it doesn't Junk Speeder play Junk Synchron though. <laughs> uh, uh, let's check Master Duel. Uh, August, August, July, 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 June, June, June. Um, no topping decks, no no events, just, um, it got to Master 5. I think Junk is probably never used, or just rarely used. Which one? I'll, I'll, I'll just go with whatever chat says. Rarely used? Rarely used? Okay, we can put in rarely used. That's fine by me. Okay, Jirax are never used. Easy. Next, uh, Karakuris is, I think, rarely used. Karakuris is either underused or rarely used. I did play card curries. They were terrible. <laughs> Who uses them? They, they are used. They're just not very good. Yeah, they're trash. They're so old. They're a combo deck that doesn't have any like special summons from the hand. 
Even the new support card curry wasn't great. Yeah. When I was playing card curries on stream, I was like, wait, is this deck just Aurora Dawn Turbo? And everyone chat was like, yeah, basically. Okay, cash tier is Uber. That's an easy one. Next up, King of the Skull Servants. <gasps> Never used. Ooh, Nightmares. Uh, Uber. I think Nightmares is probably one of the most successful decks of all time. It's one of the most successful archetypes of all time, I mean. I love me some Skull Servants. Skull Servants are garbage. Ooh, Koki Mirus. Did you know this deck was an absolute menace in Duel Links? It was so good in Duel Links that they had to like limit this card right here. And like a whole bunch of other cards. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Next. Cosmos. We'll put it in rarely used just for funds. Next. Crawlers. We'll put Crawlers in... I'm gonna look them up. Soma's really good. Soma specials two monsters from the deck. Never used, that's fine. Actually, let me look in Master Duel. April, man, they're not even, they're not even planted in Master Duel. Yeah, this is definitely never used. Why are gadgets never used? Because it's based on like competitive play recently. So even though gadgets were very heavily used in the past, they are not used today. Next up, we have Karibos, easy, never use. Next up, Lovels. oh my God, they're awful. Even though they have one of the best cards in the game ever in their archetype, um, it's banned. So you can't even play it. Next up, we have, ooh, the World Chalice. Wait, Link Room was over you? Shut the hell up, I'll ban you. Last time I saw play was in 2020. We can put World Chalice in rarely used. It's fine. Never used, unban Ib. Yeah, they have like, they still have Ib banned, but Ib's like a plus two. <gasps> Libromancers, I think Libromancers are actually decent. Uh, two tops. I think that's underused. They have two recent tops. Decent with me, Conco. That's so hilarious. Okay, Light Rays. Light Rays are garbage. Well, they're not garbage. They're just like... Light Rays are an archetype that revolve around having banished light monsters. And it's actually kind of hard to get a whole bunch of banished light monsters. So they're just kind of like hard to play. They're not bad. It's just like... I didn't think they expected the deck to be as hard to play as they ended up being. What are Light Rays? Light Rays are a whole bunch of like light versions of cards that exist where they can special some of themselves from your hand if you have like a number of banished like light monsters specifically. Like this one requires three banished light monsters and it allows you to use your light monsters in order to do things. But the cool thing about them is they all special some of themselves from their hand, so they're pretty good. Labyrinth? I think Labyrinth is Uber. You guys think it's OU? Here, we'll put an Uber and then check. In TCG, it's currently Uber. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8. This is Uber. You guys are crazy. You guys are saying this is OU? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Labyrinth is an easy Uber. <laughs> what does Uber mean? Uh, it means they have this many tops in the top the past year. Literally, the whole page is... We haven't even reached last year yet. This is an easy Uber. Basically, they're just like... They're, they're super ridiculously played. Which is all of these so far. Or, you know, their entire archetype is banned, like Dragon Rulers or Nightmares. Nightmares has two cards banned. Dragon Rulers have three. Where Labs at last year, I forgot. The thing is, funny thing about Labs is the Ikea version allows you to play during your opponent's turn. So they're like a weaker version of Tier Limits, which is so funny that their like search effects technically allowed to activate graveyard effects during your opponent's turn. Didn't they release Blaster? In Master Duel they did. It's still banned at TCG. Okay, man, this... <laughs> We're at... We're halfway through the list, guys. We're halfway through. We've only been streaming for two hours. I need to go faster. Going fast, yeah, I gotta go faster. You guys are slowing me down. Luna Lights. Luna Lights is, I think, an overused category. I gotta look this one up. I'm pretty sure they use as an engine a lot, though. I could be wrong. Uh, oh, I am wrong. We'll put them in underused. Twilight Swords, never use their garbage. Uh, Lyralisk. Lyralisk are used a lot with, um, whatchamacallit, Tri-Brigade, but I'm gonna put them in underused. Machina. Machina is used a lot with Gears. I don't think they're an overused, but I gotta look this up because I wasn't expecting Infinite Track to be an overused. Holy. Palma. Underused is exactly where they belong. Okay, next up we have Medulce. Ooh, I gotta look up Medulce. Medulce performs pretty well with Vernus Lifts. 2019? Yeah, I don't know about that. Medul... J petting sesser 2021 <laughs> let's check master duel august august july and july 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 june june top eight top 16 um i don't even know if they i think they're probably rarely used right realistically speaking uu is fair uu for medulce copium 
check the XEs, not the main deck cards. Um, Petting Cessor is their best card. If it's not seen play, then no one's playing the deck. You guys want underused from Adulce? Fine, we'll put it in underused. I don't think it belongs there. It's probably a rarely used card. I know some streamers use Medulce. I think Medulce is rarely used. Honestly, you guys are smoking too much copium. You use copium. Yeah, yeah. It really is. It just doesn't have the results for you, you. Okay, next up, we have Magical Mush to Tears. <laughs> Never used. Let's look it up. Dexley's Wind to Pokemon Tears is dope. Yeah, yeah, the archetypes themselves. Holy. Oh that is way more tops than I was expecting. Okay, we'll take them out of never used and put them in rarely used. Yeah, they flopped hard. The next Zodiacs, by the way. Dude, Musketeer Max is still probably one of the most broken Link 1 monsters. The only problem is it's part of a bad archetype. Okay, next up we have... Ooh, Magispectors. I'm gonna put them in rarely used because they do have one banned card, you know? Even though it really should be never used. So the funny thing about Magispectors, for those of you who don't know, is they're an archetype whose whole gimmick was that every single one of their main deck cards cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. And when they came out, people were like, oh my god, these are so amazing. They're so good. And also most of the main deck monsters search and their boss monster was really good. It's basically like a DPE. And then um, they banned their main boss monster. And the funny thing is boss monster was just better in other pendulum decks because their pendulum deck couldn't bring it out because their scales are like, they don't go above six. Turns out a whole bunch of main deck monsters that can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects just doesn't really matter if they don't do anything. And they all have like less than 1500 attack too. So you can just destroy them by battle. Ironically, they can barely remember Kirin. Kirin has an effect where you can bounce it to your hand and one other card on the field. And also it has 2,000 attack and it can't be destroyed by card effects or be targeted. Basically, if you could remove it, it could just bounce itself to prevent it from being removed and also one of your opponent's cards. And because it couldn't be destroyed by card effects or targeted, it was very hard to get rid of. It was like even harder to get rid of than DPE. Since it returns to your hand, you can't really touch a card in the hand. Honestly, it would probably see play immediately if it was unbanned. Next up, we have the Draco Slayers. <gasps> I think Draco Slayers are probably just underused. Yeah, yeah, I think Draco Slayers is underused, even if they don't really have too many top spots right now. Just because, like, the meta counters them really hard. <gasps> Malefics! Ooh, never used. Let me look at Malefic Cyber and Dragon. But in Duel Links, this was a good Gravekeeper deck. Never used. Manadiums. Manadiums are used, right? It has two tops in the last. We'll put it in underused. It's a modern deck. It's decent. What is the Manadiums? It's the final... I think it's the second to last one in the um, Visa Starfrost lore. Still seems a bit too fresh to be judged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just put it in uh, underused for now. Next up, we have Marine Cess. Uh, I think Marine Cess is probably either underused or overused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It qualifies for overused, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Uber? Not Uber. Heck no. Marine Cess ain't that good. <gasps> the Mast Heroes. One, two, three, four, five. It has five tops in the past year. And then June. Hero, Omni Hero, 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 Endemion, Orcus, Ishizu Tier Limits, technically qualifies for overused. Technically, Mast Heroes in general, or UU, or are you? Yeah, but Mast Hero Dark Law can be brought out with Mast Hero 2. So if you have a Dark Monster, you have access to Dark Law. Please check Master Duel as well. Okay, it should say even more play Master Duel. August, 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 August. What is it? In Heroes, Heroes, Dynamorphia? Look, a tier deck back in June. That's less than a, a month ago. Dark Law is a one-sided macrocosmos. Yeah, Dark Law is very good. I think it's an overused. The masked heroes are so good. It's the only reason heroes are even able to be in, like, the upper echelons of playability. Okay, next up, we have Mathmech Circular. Is this Uber? Definitely not Uber. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is Uber. <laughs> you guys are dumb. <laughs> Maybe because I kind of like math. <laughs> Circular was hit though. It was hit because it's so good. Uber, yeah, math makes very good. Circular is probably the best Cybris card in the game by a long shot. Yeah, Circular is so good. If like any other deck received a Circular version of it, they'd immediately shoot up in playability as well. Math was good when issues and bestials happen. They were still played during that era, I believe. Imagine before revealed and was shown as a fan-made card, the reaction to it. Oh my god, yeah. Circular reads like a custom card. It's too good. Dear lord, he's actually doing it? Of course I am. We're halfway through it, too. Okay, next up, we have Mecha Phantom Beast, Tetherwolf. <gasps> they have a lot of busted cards in the Mecha Phantom Beast. 
even though the archetype itself sucks. I'm just gonna put it in rarely used. Next up, Megalith. I like this one up. Branded Drytron, first place. Video is unavailable. What the Palma. fuck is this deck? Megalith Drytron? We'll put Megalith in rarely used, whatever. Oh, did you guys know, um, if we go back to Mega Fantabeast, Tether Wolf used to be the best card of the archetype. It was like a staple that was just played by itself. And that's hilarious that it's not the case anymore. Mm, Mech Knights, I think, are underused. Or maybe OU, let me check this up. I got this one up. Mech Knights are very good. Well, they're not as good as I thought. We'll put them in um, underused. Are you? They're trash? No, they're not. You guys are a bunch of hoot nannies. They still see play. I just guess they don't see play the TCG. But in Duel Links, they dominate in Duel Links. They've been seeing a lot of play in the OCG though, I think. I might be wrong. I'll put them in rarely used. The data doesn't support underused. Next up, we have Mech Lords. Okay, Mech Lords should go in never used. Melfies. Uh, I think Melfies are probably over, either over or under. We'll put them underused for right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tops in the past year. Is Melfi Uber? The Caddy engine's very solid. Underused, use three or four of them in Sprite, and that's it. This is definitely overused, at the very least. I don't think this is Uber. The Melfi engine is literally two cards. Which is totally fine for that to be an Uber. I just don't think it's used enough for it to be Uber. Okay, we are at 180 out of 312. Next up, we have Mermails. Has Mermail seen play recently? This used to be such a top tier deck. Pre-recorded fun facts, yeah, 2022. Okay, they haven't seen play in a while. Rarely used. <gasps> Time Lords. Guys, Time Lords are next. 2019 was the last time they saw play. Rarely used. Metal Foes. When was the last time Metal Foes saw play? <laughs> Metal Foes. These were cracked and released. 2018. Rarely used. They had some funny FTKs. Yeah. Metaphys. Oh, Metaphys are never used. They're garbage. Microcoders. Um, underused. That's surprising. Code Talkers would be UU. Yeah, yeah, underused. Because they have like a couple of tops. <gasps> Mist Valleys. Mist Valley suck, but Mist Valley Avon APX is pretty good. We'll put it in rarely used, I guess. Morphtronics. Um, have Morphtronics seen play in the TCG? I know they see play in Master Duel. Not like a lot of play, but they can see play. Because Morphtronic Telephone is so broken. It's so funny that Morphtronic Telephone exists. It's just a straight up broken card and nobody plays it. Rarely used. Never used? No, it has to be rarely used. Morphtronics are very like, they can combo for days. Where would you put flu? We haven't gotten to flu yet. Next up, we have my utents. Oh, I love my utents. Never used. Next up, naturias. Hmm, naturias are very good. Let's look them up. Uber? I don't know about Uber. I think overuse is probably good. Sheesh. Is this Uber? That is a lot of tops. <laughs> it even won first place. <laughs> But they're so good. They are very good. Probably Uber if Mathmech is Uber. No, Mathmech has way more tops than this. I think this is overused. It, I think this is a situation kind of like um, Exosisters, where they, they perform very well, but they're just not played that much. Damn, it took first place at a YCS. No, WCS. What's a WCS? I'd say they're definitely overused, but I, I'm just OU or not. Are they going to be the World Championship Series? Wait, they won Worlds? Oh, a qualifier. They never got the recognition they deserved. I don't think they're Uber, but they are very high up there in the OU. They're surprisingly good. Yeah, I think OU is probably good enough for them. The problem is Sacred Trees. Oh yeah, Sacred Trees at one. I forgot about that. OU because there's no pure top. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next up, we have the the Fleur Archon, the Necro Fleur. Uh, they do have Barone in their archetype. But it's it's definitely a never use because <laughs> Barone's uses a generic boss monster. It technically isn't affiliated to its archetype like at all. Next up, we have Necroz. Pink is also generic, yeah, but it's it's at least affiliated to its archetype because it allows you to tribute a Dino Wrestler monster, not just Pinker Tops itself. Okay, Necroz. We'll put Necroz. Could theoretically be UU underused. I'll just take your guys's word for it. I don't want to look it up. Okay, next up, we have the Nemesis cards. Oh, the Nemesis cards are really good. I'll put them in underused, because it also includes Arch Nemesis Protoss, which is banned. Next up, we have Neo Flame Veil Lady. Oh, we can put Flame Veils in Never Used. Easy. Next, 
terrible. I don't even know why. Oh, I think this is representing all of Neospatians. And technically, one of the Neospatians was used a little bit, so rarely used. I mean, technically, two of the Neospatians saw a lot of play in the past. I'm gonna put in rarely used, even though it's probably more of a never used type situation. Aqua Dolphin comes up in tech every once in a while. Yeah, there's also like, you know, that one fusion card, the, the instant fusion for hero for Neos cards, which can bring out some of their Neospatians as well. Hummingbird time. There is no hummingbird. <gasps> Ooh, Nimbles. Is this Uber? One, two, three, four, five. This is Uber. <laughs> I didn't think it would be that easy to determine. Yeah, it's used in Sprite. Oh, you carried by Sprint. The thing is, Beaver and Angler are both very good. Yeah, leave it to Beaver. It's, it's hard carry by Sprite. Should I just leave this in OU and just like put the Sprite engine itself in Uber? I'll leave it in OU for now. This is a case where it is incredibly used, which fits, you know, overused. And we'll just put Sprite in Uber because it's basically, it wouldn't see play without Sprite. Okay, next up, we have Ninjas. I think Ninjas have seen play. Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. And they still use Grandmaster Hanzo in their decks. Oh, look, a top 32 in January 2023. We'll put this one in underused. Next up, Noble Knights. Oh my god, Noble Knights, Noble Knights. Never used. Ooh, Punks. This is an easy Uber. Dude, Punks are so good. <laughs> I can't believe I slept on Punks for so long. <laughs> Oh, you? Let's see the results of Punk, shall we? Oh, they're not played as much in the TCG. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the past year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have eleven plus eight. They have nineteen tops in the TCG in the past year. And if we go over to Master Duel. August. Okay, yeah, there's a sh heck ton of them. Oh yeah, TCG doesn't have chaos. Doesn't have a chaos ruler. I think it's more of an Uber card because of um, in Master Duel because they still have chaos ruler. In TCG they don't, and they still play it. I think Punk is definitely an Uber tier. Next up, we have Numbers Evel. This one is here to represent the entire Numbers archetype. I don't know how that works as an archetype. Basically, every Numbers card. Are there any good Numbers cards? Like, how many good number cards are there? Numeron, Rongo. Rongo's alright. Shockmaster's alright. Are there a ton of band? There are a ton of band numbers. But most of them, like, have nothing to do with numbers, even though they're technically all part of an archetype. It's a gigantic archetype, though. Like, there are so many number monsters in the game. Diablos is good. Hmm, it's OU. The thing is, if we put it in OU, then that means if you play underused, you're not allowed to use any number monsters. That's the thing, because all of the number monsters are technically part of this. The real boss monster would be the 100k Numeron XEs, OU, but technically, or UU, because they're generically splashable. Most of the decks don't use numbers. I guess that's true. Yeah, we'll just leave it overused. They, it is a gigantic archetype, even though they don't really work with each other. Okay, next up we have Numeron. Oh, I don't think Numeron sees any play the OCG. TCG, I mean. Numeron Network, technically a very good deck. <gasps> Numeron OTK took top four in January 2021. Wow, that was a long time ago. Uh, we'll put this in rarely used. Uber, this isn't Uber, you guys are crazy. The best I would do is underused. Sure, it sees play a lot in Master Duel, but not anywhere else. Uber and low ranked. Now I'm just gonna put it in rarely used. Well, I guess I can put it in underused. <gasps> Umi Control! How did Umi Control perform in the TCG? It didn't? Psh, are you sure about that? Look at these two tops from last year. Top eight. Umi Control. Mm, we'll put this in underused. Rarely used? I think this is just an underused deck. It's clearly OU. No, it's not OU. Umi Control, we're gonna put it in underused. It's very good. You guys just don't understand how the economy works. Next up, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. The Odd Eyes archetype. I'm gonna put this in rarely used. Who, who plays Odd Eyes? <gasps> Ogdoatics. Let's put this in never used. Oh, Ojamas. Never used. <gasps> Orcist. Orcist is... They still have Harporer Band in the TCG. I'm just gonna put it in rarely used for right now. Ogdoatics Uber? Shut up. 
Next up, we have Pacifus. Ooh, Pacifus. We'll put this in rarely used. Uh, Paleozoics. Um, do they see play nowadays? This is either rarely used or underused. Paleo. We have 2021 was the last top. Okay, rarely used is probably fine for that. Okay, Monarchs. We'll put Monarchs in rarely used. They haven't topped in a while. Uh, Perform Mages. Perform Mages, we'll put them in rarely used as well. Performa Pals. Performa Pals are probably underused because they have a lot of cards in them. Okay, next up, we have Photons. Never used. Okay, now we have the Bouncers. The Bonzers. <laughs> Never used. <laughs> Nah, Pepe is uber. Nah, because it's still banned. Banned. We're not going on based off of banned cards. We're going based off of cards they can play right now. Kind of. You know, there's some leeway in there. Okay. Next up, we have photons. <gasps> photons. Photons have a lot of good XZ monsters, don't they? X Y Zs. We can put them in never used. I mean, rarely used. Okay. Armed dragons. Oh, never used. Prank kids. Prank kids. They still have their main card banned. We'll put them in underused. Because they're usable in Master Duel at the very least. Next up, we have Preta Plants. Rarely use. They're pretty good. Armed Dragon is uber based. Shut up. <gasps> Prediction Princesses. Let's put this in never used. The Assault Mode Engine. We'll put this in rarely used. Bordering on underused. Let me look this up. Apparently, it has a top. Rarely used is perfectly fine. Where are you with the Horus cards? They're not in the TCG yet, so they're nowhere. Ooh, the Psy frames. So we have Psy frame Gear Gamma. We have Omega, and we also have the Link 2. Hmm. <laughs> Uber? Yeah, Lambda. Gamma is Uber. Their Synchro Monster is also good. Omega is still at 1. Yeah, and their Link 2 Monster is also good, specifically because it lets you use Gamma and searches Gamma. I'm going to put them in overused. It's kind of like a Melfi situation. Is it? I don't know. Gamma is technically part of an archetype, but it's also just uses generic hand trap. Uh, I guess Uber. I think I think this is Uber. It's not topping as a deck. No, but like Gamma is very good and Omega is also useful. It has two cards limited to one. It has two of them, guys. Don't you understand how economics work? I'm gonna leave it in Uber tier. I think Psy Frames is probably Uber, maybe overused. Actually, I'm not very uh, confident on this. If I'm not confident, I probably shouldn't put it there. I'm gonna put it in overused. Okay, next up we have Purely. Oh, <gasps> Purely. How does Purely do? Uber, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a lot of tops for a brand new deck. Okay, we'll put it in Uber. I'm fine with that. I was thinking Uber anyway. Man, this list is too big. <gasps> the cute tier. There is no cute tier. Purely is the best deck next to Cash Tier right now. Not enough recently. Oh, okay. I got crunked by Purely at Locals. I'll leave it in Uber tier. You guys can stop yelling at me now. Cleeforts. Ooh, let's put this one in Never Use. They're garbage now. Next up. Ooh, Rockets. Um, Is Rockets Uber or Overused? I think this is probably Uber. I'm going to put it in Uber and then I'll check. Rockets, 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 Rockets. One World? Did it really? Let's see, 2023, 2023, 2023. Are you sure this is Uber? I mean, it did win worlds, I guess. Mm -hmm. Rockets isn't equal to Dragon Link. Yes, it is. There's no Dragon Link deck that doesn't play Rockets. Dragon Link was in finals of the world for Master Duel. Duel Links is TG OCG at one TCG slash OCG world. So it's Uber. I'm fine with leaving it at Uber. Rockets are pretty good. Next up, we have, oh, Fur Hires have been performing well. I think per fur hires are a UU. This is probably not the correct card to represent it. I should probably use the, the level two for it. Fur hires Uber. I'm going to put it in underused for now. I don't think they play it in the TCG though. We'll take a look at Donner. Damn, Donner sees a lot of play. <laughs> it's because it's a generic staple. Full go. Justice for hire. 2023, 2023, 2023, 2023, 2023. Damn, that's a lot of fur hire decks. Hmm, is this overused actually? Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of tops. I wasn't expecting so many. Yeah, where are you put it in overused? Runic Sprite for higher goes hard, especially in MD. Do they have the for higher cards that make it good? OU, nah, yeah, Ubers. It's not Ubers, shut up. Recent deck carried by Runic, but Fulgo and the negates add a lot to the pile. Runic for higher is nasty. For higher is flop, then got broken in dual links with support becoming decent. Yeah, yeah, they're they're decent right now. <gasps> Raid Raptors! 
We'll put this in rarely used just because it's funny. <gasps> rose dragons. Ooh, rose dragons. We'll put them in rarely used too. They were very good when Halk was still unbanned. Red eyes, never used. Garbage. Oh, here's Dark Lords. Okay, here's my uber argument for Dark Worlds. They can do a full hand rip by your opponent's draw phase as well as making a good board. They can also pair with many archetypes such as tier limits and the amount of advantage they can get off of two or three cards is amazing. Also, Silva is banned in Master Duel. Dark World has also seen historic play. You know, those are all the reasons I was considering it for uber as well. <laughs> There's only three tops though. <laughs> do they not play this card? Here, I'll look up the Dark World extra deck monster. This is not Ubers. There's not enough tops for this. Even their extra deck monster, but they don't even need the main deck stuff. The fusion is ran in tier limits because King of the Swamp. Yeah, they can just run it in King of the Swamp. And even then... Okay, here's the Uber argument for Dark World. <laughs> Top of OU. This is an OU card. There's not enough data to support an Ubers. Because if it was that good, then everybody would be playing it overused dark world loses too hard to droll and shifter yeah yeah we'll, we'll put it in overused it's it's good enough for overused at the very least there's no way it's uber now we'll go over to reptilians <gasps> if we're putting big engines ou then ou makes sense yeah yeah engines we're putting them in ou unless they're like very good engines you know like a shizu or punk i'm disappointed in you chat stop copy pasting my comment <laughs> <laughs> never used yeah 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 this is never used rescue ace rescue ace um did you know this card sets four cards from your deck like that's crazy this card is very good no tops in the tc this does see play in the ocg though i think they might have cards that are a little bit better than this it's a new deck though um i'll put it in underused for now because this is a very good deck in the ocg uber top tier tc won't play ocg because no aurora done oh is that what it is well, I think underuse is still fine. Next up, we have Rika. Does Rika see any play? I don't actually know. I think it's a garbage deck that no one plays. Let's double check it just in case. <gasps> oh, this is an Uber. Wow, I can't believe it. This caught me by surprise. Holy moly. Wow, I thought this was bad, but it was actually very good. That's, that's insane. Okay, let's shoot up all the way to the top to Uber. It's all right, I guess. Rika's hella good dog logs, what do you mean? Oh, you got me. I'm such a stupid idiot. I'm the dumbest, dumbest idiot everywhere. Ritual Beast, oh my God, remember when this was good? Let's put this in rarely used. Actually slandering Sun Avalon Engine 2 in the moment. <laughs> Rika only won because people didn't know what the deck does. <laughs> it wins so much. You're so cool and mysterious. Oh my God, why thank you. See, someone gets it. <gasps> Runic. Um, I don't know guys. Runic's alright, I guess. It's whatever. I think it's probably at least underused. Maybe overused, I guess. Just kidding. Why why do we even pretend with this? This is an obviously Uber Wow, we had two Ubers like back to back. That's crazy. Carries so many decks. Yeah, it's very good. <gasps> S Force! I love S Force Justify. It's just too bad the archetype it's part of sucks. Um, oh my god, the the Parshath archetype is technically an archetype. You guys remember when Air Knight Parshath was like one of the best cards in the game? You know, in pre-Synchro era? Yeah, that was a long time ago. Never used. Next up, we have Salomon Greats. Does anyone play Salomon Greats anymore? Salomon Great Gazelle. 2023 was the last time we played 2022. It doesn't even qualify for OU. Um, We'll put it in underused. Yeah, UU. You. Nobody plays Salads. Stellar Knights. Didn't they release new Stellar Knight support? 2019 was the last time they have it. I think they have new Stellar Knight support, right? In the OCG? They have 29 new cards in the TCG. They have a new card in the TCG? Oh. Well, they still haven't seen play. We'll put it in rarely used. I don't know what their new cards are, though. <gasps> Vendreds. Did you guys know Vendreds is one of the best decks in NR format? Let's put this in rarely used. Vendreds are based? Based on what? <laughs> Next up, we have Scareclaws. Does anybody play Scareclaw? They did? I don't think they did. Scareclaw? Oh my god, Scareclaw's garbage. We'll put it in rarely used. I think it's technically underused because the tops were from recent. Now, I'm gonna put it in rarely used. Scareclaws are garbage. Oh, Scrap. Ooh, 2023 Dinosaur FDK. I think Scraps can probably go into rarely used. 
the worst visas are it really is the worst visas archetype scraps are crap scraps are actually a pretty decent engine scrap dragon though psh, psh. oh my god the goblin archetype did you guys know this is an archetype technically because it lists goblin in this specific card right here i never used okay and this is technically the psychic archetype which uses level three or lower psychic monsters i'm not sure why this is listed on the archetype thing i'll put this in never used rarely used no shadow beast i think shadows can probably go up to overused or underused i'll put them in overused for now and look them up let's see one two three four five technically overused it's a quasi archetype pay life points to do things hmm what's a quasi archetype oh the psychic cards yeah 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 it is kind of an archetype but is it a good archetype? Is it underused good? I think rarely used is fine for it. Next up, we have Shino Birds. Oh my god, I know this is a never used. Well, actually, it did top some events a long time ago. But that was a long time ago. <gasps> Valiance! I think this might be overused, right? Valiance has been doing well. Val... I don't think it's been doing that well, though. <laughs> it's, uh, not good. <laughs> She no no me. She no no me. Um, we'll put this in rarely used. It's played in the OCG. It is, but not in the TCG. Could be rarely used, but it's too strong for in you. Yeah, it's too strong for never used. We'll put them in rarely used. Yeah, they are played in Master Duel. August, 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 August. That's a lot of August, but it's only. Oh wow, Cash Tira variants, huh? Kashtira Valiance. What is even their end board? I don't care. Next up, we have, ooh, Shiranui's. We can put this in rarely used because they were a menace in Duel Links. Uh, Silent Magicians. Oh my god, this was a top tier deck in Duel Links too. Rarely used. <gasps> so was Silent Swordsman. <coughs> Never used. Samorg. This was also a Duel Links card. Uh, I'm not gonna look this up. I'm just gonna put it in rarely used because they have a very good Link 3 monster. Sky Striker! Man, they need to stop using Sky Striker. They'll put it in overused. Next up, we have the Speedroids. Rarely used. Spellbooks! Um, rarely used, or maybe under, never used. Should Spellbooks be never used? 2013 was the last time they saw play over here. Let's check Master Duel. Nothing in August. Um, I think we can put this in never used. Next up, we have Spriggins. Ubers? I don't want to be biased. We'll look it up. Guys. Guys. These are uber numbers. <laughs> look at... <laughs> There's a full page of tops in the past year. Why is it upside down? Because I'm a spider. Oh, just the engine? Yeah, just the engine. Super heavy samurai manadiums. Do they play any main deck cards? No, but they do play... Wait, yeah, they do. Wait, do they? Brigands, 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 Therion, no, they just search out Spr Therion King Regulus doing thing. So the extra deck is Merrymaker and Gigantic Champion Sargaz. Oh, you because of Sargaz? Guys, Brigands are so good. They're so good. They're literally uber tier. Never used? No, did you see this? Look at this. Look at these. Look at this conversion rate. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, no wait, 21 or 22. There's over 20 instances of Spriggans in the past year. Sure, it's only because they use Merrymaker to search out Champion Sargas for a negate, and it's basically just an engine. <laughs> I think it's a situation like um, Nimbles and Melfi, where technically they're very used, but not because of the archetype, but because of like two of their cards. I'll put it in overused because the Spriggan engine is very good, even if people don't play the other good Spriggan cards as well. I should play Spriggans more often in all of my machine based decks. Let him be his bias. What are you talking about? Don't you guys see all of this data right here? Merrymaker is so good. You guys just don't understand how the economy works. Next up, <gasps> Spiral Quick Fix. When was the last time Spiral saw play? Well, they still have Master Plan Band. We'll put Spirals in underused, right next to Salomon Great. Uber? Yeah. Next up, we have Star Seraph. Oh my god, when was the last time anyone played this deck? 
Never used. Next up, we have Star Duston. Oh, Dustons are definitely never used. Um, Starry Knights, never used. Steel Swarm, never used. <gasps> Gang Zings, uh, the extra deck monsters I use a lot. We'll put it in rarely use. Subterra Guru, I gotta look this one up. 2022, 2022, 2020. Uh, this is rarely used. Guru Control. Guru Control is not as used as you might think. Next up. Oh, the Sun Avalon engine. Um, is this Uber? If it's only played with Rika in like a competitive deck. Sun Avalon. Dry ass. <laughs> Dry ass. <laughs> Uber OU. I mean, it's just the engine, though. Isn't this basically... Like, Spriggan sees more play than Dryads. It's half of the engine. Probably Uber. Rika's an engine in the deck, too. Mmm... I guess. I guess it's technically Uber. Oh, you just for the engine? The thing is, I don't know, like, how much of it is Sun Avalon and how much is Rika. Because they are both played together pretty heavily. They're, like, always played together. So, like, I know Sun Avalon is very good for just, like, all plant decks. I think it's an engine that's good enough to be uber, just like punk. So I'll just leave it in uber, whatever. Next up, we have Super Heavy Samurais. Oh yeah, this is an easy uber. The whole reason Merry Maker was even played as much is specifically because of Super Heavy Samurais. Yeah, this wasn't easy. I don't need to look it up <laughs> because <laughs> so many of these other cards are up here specifically because of Super Heavy Samurais. Next up, oh, the Supreme King Zark deck is technically an archetype. Never used. Frogs! Um, I think frogs are uber. They had to ban Rodent Toad. Look at all of this play, but it's all sprite decks. The thing is, sprite really muddies this up. The thing is, frogs have always seen competitive play, like forever. Ever since they came out, they just have not stopped seeing play. This has got to be one of the most successful decks in history. Yeah, just a successful archetype. This is just a very good archetype. Overused? The thing is, it is technically Sprite that makes them good right now. It's not the actual cards themselves. It's just because they work really well with Sprite. So I'm going to put them in overused. Uber could make sense. It gets bumped from OU because of being good in the past. Yeah, but this is more about the normal play. Without Sprites, no one's going to use them. Next up. Oh my god, is that a frog emote? <laughs> totally awesome. Okay, next up. We have Sword Soul. Does anyone play Sword Soul anymore? Um, damn, there's a lot. I don't know if this is Uber, though. I think this is just plain old overused. An easy Uber? I don't know if this is Uber. I think this is just overused. Surprised there aren't many great tops for Sword Soul? Yeah, yeah, there's not too many, like, tops for Sword Soul. Let's see, in this past year, we have 12... 3, 3, 3, uh... I don't know. It has more tops than Math Mech? Uh, that is a lot of tops. But these are a lot of them are from last year, like over a year ago. Back when the deck was performing a lot better. That is a lot. You think this is enough for Uber though? Sword Soul's consistently mid, but that was all that was needed at Worlds. Did it do well at Worlds? It didn't even win at Worlds. I'm gonna leave it in overused. It's not Uber. Next up, we have Sylvans. <gasps> Sylvans, we'll put this in rarely used. Next, we have oh, the Symphonic Warriors. Um this engine is decent, but I don't know how it works exactly. I just see it a lot in the gimmick decks. I'm going to put it in rarely used. TG Striker. How does TG Striker perform? I don't know. I think TG is probably never used. Never used. Next up, we have Tailwind of Gustos. Gustos suck. Never used. Next up, Tier Limits. Oh, this is an easy Uber. I'm surprised it took so long to get to Tier Limits. Tier Limits all the way to the top. Let's put them at the very tippy top. Yeah, they're the, the top of Uber. Yeah, it's the easiest Uber ever. <laughs> no one's gonna disagree with that. <laughs> Tenyus! Oh, I think Tenyus are probably OU. They were seen play even before Sword Soul came out. OU, right next to Sword Soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Agents. Do Agents see play in the TCG? I know they see play in Master Duel. Is anyone here an Agenter? An Agents main? 2014 was the last time they saw play in the TCG. We'll put it over in... Uh, rarely used. Is that a smash? No, it's not Meowie. Tier should be its own tier. <laughs> it's not smash or pass. We're raiding every single archetype in the game. <gasps> the arrival at Ignister. Does this card see play the TCG? Not really. We'll just put it in underused to be nice to them, I guess. Whatever. My favorite card of all time. Yeah, we're being nice today. That's why it gets underused. <gasps> the Fables. 
Fables, we'll put them in... Hmm, I gotta look this up. I don't think Fables see any play. I don't know if they've ever seen any play. Cerebrial, Fable, Runic, Synchro, atop in 2022. Seventh place. Well, it's at least not going to go into never used. It earns a spot in rarely used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Penguins! Next up, the Phantom Knights. Oh, this is an easy overused. Okay, the Phantom Knights, Phantom Knights, overused. There we go. Okay, um, the weather. Oh, we can put weather in rarely used. The world legacy cards. The world legacy cards themselves. I don't really see competitive play. We can put this in rarely used. Except for Wonder Woman, which he's played in Orchest. Um, Therions. Um, is this Uber? Let's look it up. I think this might be an Uber. People are playing the Spriggan's engine specifically to search this card out. Look at all these tops. It's even seen playing Rika Sun Avalon. <laughs> this is Uber. <laughs> Regulus is OU, everything else is RU. I mean, Rika Sun Avalon is also playing the other cards. They're also playing Lily Borea. It's actually Uber. You guys are crazy. Look at all this. Yes, he's playing Earth Machine, um, Rika Sun Avalon, and Super Heavy Samurai. It complements every deck. Yeah, this is an Uber engine. Uber, yeah, literally Uber by definition. Oh, Thunder Dragons. Uh, I did, they still have Colossus bands. I don't think it sees play anymore. Jack Atlas. Whoa, in 2020. What about Master Duel? August. Oh, it still sees a lot of play in Master Duel. Um, I'm going to put Thunder Dragons in Underused. But in Master Duel... Did we do Dynamorphia? We sure did. <gasps> Time Thief Redoer? Ooh. Time Thief Redoer is a very good staple, even though the rest of the archetype's kind of mid. But the rest of the archetype's not bad. I'm gonna put it in underused, just because Redoer is so good. Next up, Tin Dangles. <sighs> F tier, never use. Nobody plays Tin Dangles. Toon, nobody plays Toon, they're garbage. Next up, Trap Trick Sarah. Oh, crap, this is very good. Trap tricks are good, no doubt, when they pale in face of the better trap decks, such as Labyrinth, but still very good, especially when you have a full access to any trap at any time, as well as pop your opponent's mention. Back row, Sarah's a Link 1 is probably one of the best Link archetypes. Trap tricks do have one bad thing. If you don't draw a way to either trap card, turn summon, or trap monster after getting out, they just kind of fall flat. Hmm. Sarah, I think this might be either uber or overused. Definitely not uber. There are nowhere near as many tops as I assumed. This might not even be overused, because we only have, hmm, oh, these are all 2023. No, this is, the qualifies are overused. There's at least five tops in the past year. It gets overused, not Uber though. First place? <gasps> it does have a first place in March 2023. Trap Tricks is a local menace. Yeah, because it's a cheap deck that's very good. Trap Tricks is like, the new support was just like, bang. They did such a good job with it. <gasps> now we have the Tri Brigade Fractal. Okay, Tri Brigade, where are you going to end up on this list? I still acknowledge Tin Dingle. Don't worry, you're not alone. Wait, what about Tin Dingle? It is what it is. No one plays <laughs> I play Tin Dingle. <laughs> you are the one Tin Dingle stan. 2023. Oh my god, nobody plays this deck anymore. Um, I think Tri Brigade should still be an overused, even though nobody plays it anymore. Tri Sprite is more common now. Is it? I don't know underused i think here let me take a look one two three four five six they technically qualify for ou they have at least five cards within the past year <gasps> triamids let's put them in never used they only see playing dual links Ooh, trick stars do they see play anymore trick stars you guys remember when trick stars were like a menace 2023 someone actually played trick stars in 2023 one two three we have three Trick Star decks. Let me check the field spell. That's probably a better indicator of, because not all of them play Can Candina. Trick Star Light Stage is at three in the TCG. One, two, three, four. That just adds one more to it. Five. Oh, never mind. It adds more. There's five. That's enough for OU. Yeah. Checkmate Atheists. Let's put it in overused. Didn't Light Stage go back to three? Am I wrong? It is back to three. Check Master Duel. No, it has a lot more play in Master Duel. I already know that. Okay, next up, we have the True King archetype. <gasps> Nobody plays True Kings. We'll put them in rarely used. No, should we put them in never used? Well, now, Lithosagem did see a lot of play. 
VFD. VFD is banned. Yeah, let's gym. We'll put in rarely used. Rarely used is fine. VFD is banned. Nobody plays them anymore. But it's it's like they're not as bad as the never used cards though. That's where we're putting it a little bit higher. Rarely because VFD carry. And Lithos Gym was also used a lot in like dinosaur decks before they stopped using it. Okay, Synchrons. Synchrons are good. Does anyone play tuning though? 2023, Bestial Control. Let's take a look at um, Assault Synchron. The poster boy of Synchrons in modern day. Uh, I'll be nice and put them in UU, underused. OCG loves them. Aren't they gonna get like a new car that makes them better? We're gonna put them in underused, that's fine. Check Speeder, Speeder has zero tops. Next up, we have UAs, <laughs> never used. <laughs> Unchains, <gasps> oh my God, Unchains. Um, does anyone play Unchained? Unchained, no. Literally the only person who's top with it is Distant Coder. <laughs> Rarely used. Next up, Ursterix. Ooh, this is like the poster boy for never used. Next up, we have Generators. Cedrear of the Generator. One top in March 2023. That's a recent top. Um, should I put this in underused? Because that is a very recent top. We'll put it in underused and be nice. Check the field spell. What field spell? Boss stage? Mm okay, I'll check boss stage. Nope. Okay, next up, we have vampires. Oh my god, does the zombie vampire count as a card? Because that one's pretty good. The zombie vampire. Oh, I guess I didn't see that much play. We'll put it in rarely used. Next up, we have Vanquish. Are Vanquish souls good? <laughs> I don't know anything about this archetype. Uh, Vanquish souls Razan. Zero play. They're decent. I'm just gonna put them in rarely used because they're new. And I don't know anything about them. Next up, we have Venobi Naga. Oh my god, this archetype sucks. Next up, we have Virtual World. Um, rarely used. Next up, we have Visa Starfrost by itself, apparently. Nobody plays Visa Starfrost. Vision Hero Varus. Oh, the Vision Heroes. <gasps> this has to go next to the Elemental Heroes. Where are the E-Heroes at? Here's that one and that one. There we go. VFD is a virtual world card. <laughs> Wouldn't Visas be a similar situation with, with Albaz? Yeah, pretty much. Where it should be up here next to um, the tier limits. But the thing is, nobody played Visa Starfrost in tier limits. Have you seen the Visas cult deck profile? No, what's that? Fine, I'll put Visas in rarely used. Whatever, who cares? Next up, we have Vylons. Ooh, Vylons suck. Let's put it in never used. Vylon Omega? Vylons are garbage. Where's Battery Man? Where do you went over Battery Man's? Oh my god, War Rocks! Have War Rocks ever seen play? Mumud. Never used. <gasps> Adventure! Should Adventure be overused or Uber? Uber, OU, 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 UU, Uber, Uber to the top. Adventure was Uber. Adventure, definitely Uber. They banned so much. Check recent tops. 2023, 2023, 2023, 2023, 2022, 2022. It still sees a lot of tops. This is either overused or Uber. Hmm, it used to be an easy Uber. They banned Water Enchantress so much. They didn't ban Water Enchantress. I think we'll leave it at Uber. This is, you know, it could be Uber. This one, I think this one, you know, personally, with a feeling, I feel as though it leans on Uber. Griffin Rider is banned? Is it really? No, it's not. I think Griffin Rider is banned in the OCG. Yeah, yeah, in the OCG, not in this one. Oh my god, you guys don't know nothing about nothing. I'm the genius here. Oh, sorry, I'm of humble intelligence. I was told to stop calling myself a genius because it makes other people feel self-conscious about not being a genius like me. TCG has the full engine. Yeah, it's like fully unrestricted too, isn't it? He's a narcissist, of course he doesn't. Wait, what? I don't think he knows what humble means. I'm not a narcissist. I am but a humble servant. It's okay. I can tell you're a genius. San Celine is the only one who gets me. Everybody else is out to get me. That's what a narcissist is. I'm not a narcissist. A narcissist thinks like the world owes them everything. I don't think the world owes me anything. I just happen to be a little bit accomplished. That's all, you know. Leave it at Uber. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at Uber. I was just um, ordering something on my phone. 
<laughs> Next up, wants. Never used. Next up, windups. Uh, I think they used it a little bit when Lynx came out. Never used. Next up, Wind Witch. Wind Witch, we'll put it in rarely used. It still is a good engine. Ooh, Witchcrafters. We'll put this in rarely used too. I think they're too good for the never used here. Next up, Worms. Never used. Next up, XX Saber Gotems. Never used. Hey, got top 500 worlds with Watts. Don't hurt them that much. You got a top 500 WCS Master Duel with <laughs> top 500. You played Watts. <laughs> what was your deck list? I'm curious. I like Watts. I used to play Watts a lot. Next up, Yosenjus. Yosenjus. Hmm. We'll put them in rarely used. They're still a decent stun deck. Zephra. Ooh, Zephra good. I won a single round my local turn with a bamboo sword, so they're better than everything in number used. <laughs> Shut up. Zephras. We'll put them in rarely used. Yosenjus are for being what spirits should have been always been. Yeah, they're basically power corrupt spirits. Except spirits are still pretty good. Um, Zodiacs. Okay, we'll put this one in Uber. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Easy Uber. Oh my god, we're almost done. Next up, we have Zababa Babancho Gagaga -ga -ga Coat. So, how are Onomats? Do Onomats perform well in the TCG? I don't think they do. Zubaba -ba Bancho Gagaga -ga -ga Coat. Don't you already have Gogo -go on there? I don't think so. It was played in Ad Emancipators? No, it wasn't. This is a fake event. Utopic Lunalite. Um, th I think this is maybe a real event? No, I think that's one's fake too. Well, this card was top tier in Duel Links for a little bit, but I don't think that matters. I think Onomats are never used. What about ZW? ZW is a little bit better than Onomats. ZW... What's the good ZW card? I don't think this is the right one. I, sh I should have picked the Negate. I don't know why I picked Tornado Bringer. Pegasus? Is Pegasus the good one? Pegasus Twin Saber? Oh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> nope. <laughs> ascended? You guys don't know how to spell Ascended. It's ZS, not ZW. Oh my god, nobody even plays this card either. Uh, I'll put ZW in Rarely Use just because I think it's decent-ish. Where is Flu? I don't know why Z Flu wasn't included. I did add flu specifically to this because I would put flu probably up here and overused. Did I miss anything else? I don't know why flu isn't on here. <laughs> I 100% added flu to the list. I don't know what. I don't know how it got missed. It's finally the end. I think the only one I missed, like the major one, was flu under Rees. Dragon Ruler is not uber nowadays. Sag. Psh, they still have all their cards banned. Every morning I see it. ABC? ABC is not on here because it wasn't on the list I had. Here, I'll give you guys the list. This is where I pulled the list from because did you guys know there's over 300 archetypes in the game and there ain't no way I'm looking through all of them manually? So if you want to blame someone for not including archetype, blame them. Although I don't know where Fluinder Reese is at. Did you miss Miss Valley? No. We have Miss Valley Avian. <gasps> I can just use Miss Valley and Avian Apex as the Fluinder Reese stand in. Here, we'll put it in overused. There. Pretend Miss Valley is not on the list and we'll use this for, for flu. Actually, we can look up flu right now. Ooh. Oh, is this Uber? Is flu Uber? I think flu might be Uber. Here, we'll put it up here in Uber tier. Right next to tears? No, I don't know about that. Oh, we don't have sprites on here. <laughs> Why was there no sprites either? <laughs> There's no sprites on the list. Ah. Uh, we can use frogs or nimbles or melfies as a stand-in for sprites. Just use beaver? Okay, we'll use beaver. Beaver sprites. Horrible list, four out of 10. Um, it's good enough. Like there's over 300 on here. It took three and a half hours to go through 300. Okay, well, this is the list. This list is perfect. There's no need to change anything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this this list. I need to go now to rest my throat. I'm actually gonna take the rest of the week off from streaming so that I can rest my throat properly because it didn't heal over the weekend. And I was like just popping cough drops nonstop this whole time. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, more cough drops. I had like five cough drops while doing that. I need to rest my throat. I can't constantly have my throat hurt. Is it because of snoring? No, it's because of streaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of streaming and because uh, I record like a ton of audio every day and 
recording audio is just straight up more important than streaming. So if I can cut one of them, I have to cut streaming for a week so I can let my throat rest. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.